To calculate any time value of money calculations, it is important to make sure that your calculator settings are correct. First thing is you need to clear everything that's in the calculator. On the HP10B, you would have to second function and press that clear all. The next thing you need to check is the number of periods that it's actually compounding in. As I cleared all, you notice that on mine it's compounding at 12 periods per year, which is not what I'm trying to do in this particular example that I'm showing you. I want to show one period per year. So how I fix it on the HP is I would press 1 and I go second function and I would look for that button, the per period button. So it's that one under payment, period per year. And then I would press that. And to just make sure that it's clear, if you go second function clear, you'll see it's now one period per year. These are the cash flows that we'll be dealing with in year one. You've got 605, 695, 834, and so on to year four. This is a net present value that you get when you're calculating with the discounting factors, which obviously, because of rounding factors, would be slightly incorrect, but it's acceptable in an exam. If you are using a calculator, how you'd go about doing that is by using your cash flows and your net present value buttons. So this is your cash flow, there's your net present value, and you'd also need to input your interest rate that you're working at. So in our example, the interest rate that you're working at is 28% as shown there. So I press 28 and I put interest per year. In year zero, there is no cash flow. So I will put zero and I'll press the cash flow button. So that is year zero. Year two, year one, the cash flow is 605,000, 605, one, two, three, and I press that cash flow. In year two, it's 695, 750, and I press the cash flow button. In year three, it's 834, 900, and I press the cash flow button. In year four, it's 44,000, 528,000. Yes, and I press the cash flow button. And to compute the net present value, on the HP, you just need to press the button. On some calculators like the Sharp, you'll have to press the Compute button first before you press NPV. So in this case, because it's orange, as you can see, I have to press the second function, net present value. And you get that the net present value for this particular uh, calculation is 17,883392. Which is slightly off from that one using the discounting factors because the discounting factors are already rounded to three decimal points.